Hello everyone, my name is Lionel D'Souza and I'm an interventional gastroenterologist at Stony Brook University Hospital. It has been my privilege to work with Dr. Dennis Yang at Admin Health and Dr. David Deal at Geisinger Medical Center in the writing of this AGA clinical practice update commentary on endoscopic full thickness resection for the management of gastrointestinal subepithelial lesions. Subepithelial lesions are not uncommonly found on routine endoscopy, and depending on the characteristics of these lesions, may require resection. Often, due to the origin of some of these lesions, a full thickness resection becomes necessary to ensure complete resection. While surgical resection is the traditional approach, advances in endoscopic resection techniques and endoscopic devices continue to shift the treatment paradigm towards a minimally invasive endoscopic approach. In this commentary, we have endeavored to describe full thickness resection techniques, which are broadly categorized as exposed techniques, where the resection results in a full thickness defect, which must then be closed endoscopically, and non-exposed techniques that allow for a full thickness resection by either preserving a mucosal flap or employing a so-called close first then cut approach. Through this commentary, we hope to have provided some insight into the technical aspects, the application of these techniques in different clinical scenarios, and the advantages and limitations of each technique. Given the scarcity of data on many of these interventions, our hope is that this commentary will drive further research into the application of endoscopic full thickness resection in the management of gastrointestinal subepithelial lesions. Thank you.